Hi, I'm Brent. Today I've got a really good video update which we're going to show you some of the tips and traps of what to look for when you're maintaining your turbo diesel Triton. So whether it's a 3.6, the 2.5 or the 2.4, a lot of these models have a lot of common uh, parts integrated into these engines. And this particular model you can see beside me, the client has owned it for a year, but he always had a little bit of doubt about the condition when he bought it second hand from the dealer. He wasn't always comfortable that they checked and maintained it properly. And they were he was promised that they'd actually repaired and replaced the timing belt. But he just had that gut feeling and he knew also that the car needed a custom tune because he'd recently had a problem with the turbo and upgraded to a better quality turbo. So what he's done is he's brought the car to us um, to do the custom tune and mechanically check the car out. So you'll see it's actually got a modified aftermarket uh, factory modified turbo which is a little bit bigger than factory standard so this car when we do the custom tune is going to generate a fair bit of uh, increase in torque but it will need it because you can see down the side it's got some pretty big mud tyres fitted to it so you got to remember when you put those bigger diameter wheels and tyres on the car it's like starting off in a taller gear so if you've got your car now you start off in first gear if you start off in second that's a little bit what it's like when you put big diameter wheels on your car and of course to drive that you need extra torque and that comes with the custom tune that we will be delivering for this client so one of the things that we found is a bit of a tragedy in the ownership of this vehicle but the guy really didn't have any idea we suspect he's actually been driving the car for the last year with a broken balance shaft belt now you can see down in here and i'm going to drop some static photos in the video but down in behind here is the water pump um, the crankshaft and camshaft pulley, but there's also a pulley down the bottom which runs off the crankshaft, which you can see in this photo is completely missing, and that pulley connects to a balance shaft which spins when the engine's operating to reduce the harshness or the vibration generated by the engine operating itself. Now, if you don't have that pulley connecting to the balance shaft, the engine feels horrible, but because he bought the car like that, he thought it was normal, and I'm just trying to see where the broken belt is there's some leftover bits and pieces here the other day because um, we've replaced the other tensioners and idlers and it was all rusty I can't find it at the moment but there wasn't much left of the belt when we pulled the front of the timing cover off so you can see now we've actually put it all back together and you compare to the photos we originally had on the video to what it's looking like now the brand new um, uh, bully uh, sorry, brand new belt and also down the bottom which is a bit hard to see in this video it's got all brand new pulleys and idlers and it's also now got the, um, the uh, balance shaft belt tensioners and everything fitted back correctly. Now, the horrible thing that we found also, which we had to do a soot clean on the engine, which we diagnosed was quite dirty. And this is the inlet manifold we've now removed and it's already been cleaned. So this is part of the inlet manifold and the throt electronic throttle body you can see over here, um, which has been removed. So when you remove that, you also remove the, the rocker cover as well. So you can see this has all been cleaned up. But just have a look at how dirty the engine is internally. Now, if you run a good quality oil with good detergent in it, this buildup of black scum, which is a byproduct of the engine operating with not enough oil changes, makes it worse and worse. So if you go for a really good quality oil, like um, say, for example, we we'll use Mobile One, it's got a really high detergent level. So when the engine's operating, it actually does clean the inside of the engine as well. So when you drain the oil, if you put a flush in at the same time, you get a lot more of that black rubbish out so we can tell cars depending on the service history intervals um, if they're done correctly and if the type of oil they use if it's a cheap oil or a good quality oil just how black this is now the unfortunate thing that's happened also is because it was so dirty and dark it wasn't until we started to go and adjust the uh, tappets now this model's got adjustable rockers which connect the cam lobes to the tops of the valves and they need to be adjusted over a certain period of time on most of these Triton models. But you'll notice if you look carefully there, there's actually something actually missing. Whereas if you look at this one, you can see what's supposed to be there. And that's one of the adjustable tappets. But this one's broken, and I'll show you the broken piece in a minute. And see, when it's broken, it's actually scout scored the lobe on the camshaft. And we're going to have to carefully linish that back with some wet and dry because we don't want to have to pull the camshaft out of the engine. It's just a ridiculous cost of time. And this is the broken part that we found sitting in the valley of the rocker assembly. So that part there is supposed to be joined like that. But you can see it's actually broken through there. And then it's eventually broken through there and it's come apart. Now this is the adjustable part because when the engine's operating, this part here follows the cam and this part here tilts on that pivot and this is the adjustable part which is part of the I think it's about every 50,000 k's two-year service interval these have to be adjusted so again 
another thing to be aware of when you're servicing your car, when you're modifying it, when you're buying it, make sure you know what you're looking for. And in this situation, it's a bit of an ugly story, but the good thing is we've been able to diagnose what it is. And on a positive side, when this guy picks up his car, this, the car's gonna go a hell of a lot better. And of course, we'll do a custom tune at the end of it to generate more power and torque and give him that piece of reliability that he's come to expect from MRT. And remember, you can take advantage of that as well, no matter where you are in Australia, by contacting us or contacting one of our, our uh, preferred partners off our website. Um, if you're not sure about that, just give us a ring or send us an email. We'll introduce someone who can then use our technology to custom tune your car locally to you, because you don't have to come to Sydney. Um, and of course, you know, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Subaru, all those cars we do custom tuning, you can take advantage of our peace of mind, warranty and guarantee. And um, we look forward to helping you more with your car, no matter where you are in Australia and around the world. Um, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Make a comment, share this video. We'd love to hear from you and we'll give you another update soon in the future. Bye for now.